Kevin here in a Magoosh GMAT video. We're looking at integrated reasoning today. Um, and what we're going to talk about is one part of the directions that is a little misleading, possibly even deceptive. Um, in the directions for integrated reasoning, you are told the integrated reasoning section of the GMAT exam consists of 12 questions. Well, that's not actually true. Um, the GMAT tends to think of questions as pages and responses as questions. You can actually go and look um, on the GMAT website at the directions and you'll see buried below this prompt and there's a bullet point that says there's multiple responses uh, for each question type. Um, and so you're going to have four question types. Uh, table analysis, multi-source reasoning, graphic interpretation, two-part analysis. You're going to have about three of these um, in the section. Um, so three table analysis, three multi-source, three and three, um, to make up 12 pages or 12 questions. But then on each page, you're going to have a multiple amount of things that you're going to be doing. Responses, questions, whatever you want to call it. So table analysis can have anywhere from four to five questions. Multi-source reasoning is the same. Um, it can be four to five questions. And in both of these, you're going to have sort of a, um, one statement you're going to be evaluating, yes or no, true or false. Same here, yes or no, true or false. But then you have four or maybe five of these sentences that you have to evaluate. So it's really like having four questions, not one question, as the GMAT thing, seems to think. Um, graphic interpretation, you're going to have maybe two or three statements below your graph um, and there's going to be a drop down menu and you click on the drop down menu and you have three options or four options in there so these you're going to have two maybe three questions on a page and then two-part analysis you get this table um, and you're going to be bubbling in on this side choosing one of these and one of these so bubbling in on this side and bubbling in on this side, and you're choosing the statement which is true or correct based on the information that you've been given. So this is kind of like having two questions. Um, so actually, in the 30 minutes that you're given for integrated reasoning, you're not going to have just 12 questions. You're going to end up having somewhere around 30 to 40 questions um, that you have to do in 30 minutes. So that's not a lot of time, and you have to move pretty quick. Um, so that's all I wanted to point out to you today. Uh, remember, not 12 questions, 12 pages. You're actually going to have around 33 to 39 questions on the integrated reasoning section. All right, uh, that's all I got for you right now. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below the video. Um, and head over to Magoosh slash GMAT uh, for more tips on how to be successful on the GMAT. Be excellent.